up, YouTube? My name's Jack Armstrong. They call me Jack Daddy. It is fantastic to see you today. We love Jesus, we love our family, and we love the outdoors, and we like to build things. Uh, so come along as we build things. Come along as we try them out. Come along, and I'll show you how you can build them, too. And don't forget, like and subscribe. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah! All right, what's up, YouTube? Jack Daddy Customs today coming at you with another one. We've got a homemade disc. So my good buddy gave me an old worn out disc and we took it apart, we cut some of it down, we added a bunch of stuff. So it's like a half remodel and a half rebuild. This thing works phenomenally. I'm gonna show you how I did it. Maybe you can build your own. All right, we've got this thing home and what we're about to do is to try and take all this stuff apart. So we're gonna try to take this off and then take the whole axle out uh, basically we're just going to try to put together two good gangs out of all four of these so we're going to try to find the best disc we're going to try to find the best spacers we're going to try to find the best hangers with the bearings and here it is all taken apart so we've got everything kind of sorted out this right here's the junk that's the good hangers uh, there's all the pieces we're going to use on the disc about to start working on our spacers all right so these are all my spacers in between the disc and uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna weld them up so they're all just two pieces or they're three pieces actually the spacer and then two end caps and uh, I'm gonna make them all just one piece so I'm gonna weld those end caps to my spacers uh, there'll just be less parts to have to get really tight before I weld the end nut on the axle All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and stack these on the axle where they go in order, and then I'm gonna weld a cap on the end of that side once I get them real good and tight. And then uh, the gangs will be done. If we ever need to fix them or change a bearing, we just have to grind that little cap off, and then we just weld it back when we change the bearing. So that's how we're gonna do it, just making it work. And there are our disc gangs. Next step, we're gonna go ahead and bolt them up to the pieces that will go inside the old disc frame. All right, so what I've got here is one of the old axles off of one of those old disc gangs. And then these are the little lugs that I cut off of the old mower I had. So those wheels will fit on these lugs. And uh, this isn't the ideal way to do it, but it's gonna work. I'm gonna weld these on the end of this, like so, and make me an axle. And this is what's gonna uh, be for that disc to ride on when you don't want to be digging in the dirt. So 
So what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna put these sleeves on here. So I got these sleeves from Harbor Freight. And they'll mount right in there somewhere. And uh, these will slide up in there and that will jack down my axle uh, or pull it up, depending on if I wanna just haul it or if I wanna dig. So, uh, and then there'll be a jack mounted right here that'll do all the jacking. So this is my axle that my tires are going that we built uh, just a second ago. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mock everything up and slide it up and down as we weld it. So, uh, you know, just to make sure everything stays where it'll move up freely. So that's what we're fixing to do right now. The next step is going to be to work on our tongue. Go ahead and weld the tongue on. It's a one and seven eighths inch ball, two inch channel. And uh, instead of bolting it, I just like to weld it. And uh, that way it's there. Uh, it's one and seven eighths because that's what all my other implements are. So we'll go ahead and get it on. All right, everything is pretty much welded where it goes. Uh, our next step is gonna be to take the disc back off all that stuff back off. And then we're gonna weld everything up, hit it with a wire brush, paint it so it maybe won't rust any more than what it is. And then uh, once we paint it, we'll put it all back together, put our wheels on, and be ready to go. All right, the first thing we're gonna do today, putting it back together, put these tires on it while we got it jacked up a little bit.
your finished product. Uh, I think it's going to be really good. We're fixing to go give it a test in the backyard real quick. Uh, I've got all the rear part uh, greased up, so it should slide up and down real good on that. Uh, we got it hooked up to the Ranger. We're just going to go in the backyard and just give it a test run real quick. It hadn't rained in over a month, so I don't know how good it's going to dig, but I think it's going to dig pretty good. So uh, let's go test it out. See, we're just back here in the woods. So you got a lot of pine straw. Uh, it's kind of mildly sandy soil, I guess. We're in South Alabama, so you get take all the weight off of these wheels. Alright, so just real quick, I'll show you what we're fixing to try to disc. So it's just soil that hadn't been disc sitting under pine straw. So we're gonna see how it goes. 